Fish Nation. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about some rod and reel setups today. I want to go over a bait cast reel with you today. I want to teach you how to put your line on that reel, uh, the proper way to tie a spool knot to where it won't slip on you. Even with braided line, this knot will not slip. We're going to use some monofilament today, but I just wanted to show you the the way that I found best to attach that line to your spool initially, how to spool up your rod and reel, how to set your spool tension, and also your brakes on that rod and reel so that you have the best chance for success. So you guys stay tuned to Greenfish Nation. We're gonna be doing bait casters today. All right, guys, here I have a, uh, a standard bait casting reel uh, this here happens to be uh, an Abu Garcia uh, Black Max. Uh, this is about a $50 reel. Um, it's a 6.41 gear ratio. You can see that right here on the, uh, right above the handle. Uh, I've got this paired with a, uh, a older Falcon uh, heavy action rod. Uh, I'm gonna be using this particular setup to skip uh, docks uh, with jigs and chatterbaits and things like that. So I uh, wanted to get a specific rod set up for it, but I'll go over with you guys how to uh, install your line on this, uh, where it gives you the best chance for success. We'll go over how to set this thing up to where you have uh, an opportunity to catch the most fish. So. We're gonna get a little line put on this thing. All right, guys, first thing I did here is I took this reel off of the rod. Uh, that's just the way I like to do it. Some folks do it on the rod. Uh, you do it however you prefer. Uh, it's easier for me to demonstrate it like this in the video. So if you'll look right here on the side, you, this particular reel has a little pin. You can pull that pin out. I'm trying to do this where you guys can see it. And then you can rotate the side cap up like that and it will uh, it'll come off. And the whole spool comes out, okay? Now this is real important. When you put your line on your reel, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna make sure you run your line through through the eyelet, like so, and then out the side of the reel. All right, once you have that done, I'm using Cajun Red here. I'm, I'm hoping you guys can see this. So what I'm gonna do is just tie a simple little loop, kind of square knot type deal there. Makes a little loop like that. And then I'm gonna take this spool and I'm gonna pull that up. This particular uh, reel has a little center, little center slot in it. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna just trim this little tag end off right here. If you guys can see that. Now the next thing I wanna do is I want to make a loop in my line, like so. And I'm gonna loop it right over that reel and I'm gonna pull it down. And then this time, I'm gonna go the opposite way. Well, I say I am here. Sometimes these big hands and fingers get in the way. I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna go one more time the opposite direction. And that'll secure that line in place, it won't move. And then we're gonna put the reel back together here. We'll get this untwisted, it'll hold for you. Won't give you any problems. We're gonna slide that right back inside there. Make sure all the bearings and all that stuff lines up. And then we're gonna put our little side cap back on it. And then again, you'll have to pull that little pin to rotate that 
around back in place. Now I'm gonna hold a little tension here out front and I'm just gonna reel this line on. And I like to bring it over here. Uh, I'm gonna move you guys down here right quick to the edge of the boat here and just reel it. And let that spool just work off the side of the boat. So once you guys get your line filled up all the way, uh, I like to keep it about an eighth of an inch from the edge of the reel. You see that thing's holding tension itself and it's uh, just rolling on the side of that boat. You can do this out in the water, you can do it out in the yard. Uh, it just keeps tension on there. And it does a nice job of filling your reel up. It keeps the proper tension all the way through the spool. All right, guys, you can see we got our spool full. I'm about, oh, eighth of an inch from the edge of the spool right there being completely to the top of the spool. That's where I like to start out with my line at. That gives you a good uh, amount of line and it doesn't seem to override and try to run out and give you problems on your cast and whatnot. So we'll go over next how to set this up to where you can make great casts with it and not have any issues. So you guys stick around and we'll get that done. All right, guys, we got our reel reattached to the rod seat, got that good and tight. We've lined our line through all of our eyelets on the rod, and I've tied on this uh, chatterbait here. So we're gonna go over with you how to set your spool tension knob. That'll be this little knob right here, right here behind the reel. And what this does is this adjusts the, the rate of uh, fall that you have with your lure or the speed at which the line goes out. Uh, we'll do that first and then we've got a magnetic braking system on this reel here on the uh, the left hand side and some people call that windage or wind brake. Uh, I just call it a magnetic brake. Uh, I, uh, but anyway we'll set the spool tension and what you want to do is you want to get this lure where when you mash that button that you get a pretty consistent rate of fall that's a little fast right there that's a factory setting i'm sure that's wide open so what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn that i'm going to tighten that up not as tight as i can get it but pretty firm i'm going to mash my button and that's about right where i want the fall at okay but you can tighten that up a little more it's not falling now I want to get it to where it just starts to fall like that right there. Especially for someone that's just beginning, you get that thing where it'll just fall and they can make a cast with it and not a, not get a bird nest every time because there's nothing more discouraging to a new fisherman, especially somebody with a new bait caster that's never thrown it before to pick out more bird nests than they do actually cast the lure out in the water and have the opportunity to catch fish. All right, guys, the next thing we're gonna talk about is our magnetic braking system here. It's generally on the opposite side of the reel handle. Uh, I like to start out, this one here, as you can see, is at less and max. So I wanna go about halfway. And what this does is this is kind of your windage. So if you're casting into the wind, you might wanna turn that up a little bit. If you're casting with the wind, you can turn it down a little bit. You can get more cast that kind of is the magnetic braking part at the end of your cast that helps stop your uh, stop your spool from over spooling. So uh, we've got this thing set up. Uh, so let's walk out here and uh, we'll make a little cast with it and uh, try to get you guys in here close where you can see uh, how good it's gonna cast, okay? All right, guys, let's make a cast. This is gonna be... Uh, no thumb or anything on there. So I want you guys to see if you get this set up just right and you don't try to throw your arm off with it. 
it's a little bit of elbow and a little bit of wrist and you can always make a great cast. So let's see what we got here. No thumb on the spool. No bird's nest. I know you guys can't see it, but we made probably a 35, 40 yard cast with that thing. So I would say it's set up pretty good. Uh, I just happened to use a chatterbait because that's what I had laying in the boat. Uh, and that's kind of what I'm gonna throw with this rod. So when you change lures, you'll need to uh, always check your adjustments. If you're throwing a, a lighter bait, of course, you'll wanna turn that spool tension knob down a little bit if you're throwing a heavier bait. Uh, and you'll get eventually get to using your thumb you'll eventually be able to turn that spool tension nearly all the way off and maximize your cast. So I want to thank you guys for joining us today. If you have any questions about bait casters, just drop us a comment below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel already, I want to invite you to do that. Give us the old thumbs up if you like our content. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and tight lines from Greenfish Nation. Thank you.